say three, two, one, action. You say it. And one, two, one, action. Can people of two different religions um, date or get married or work out? Yeah, definitely. I think some people just take the person for who they are and then maybe even later on, like we were just talking about, find out about what religious background they're from or whatsoever and they don't care. Because mm. love is stronger than anything, I think. Like, love is important and it's a foundation to most relationships. I think that if you're... There's a lot of people that are in different um, levels or different relationships with God, whatever faith you're in. Do you know what I mean? Some people are stronger in their faith, some people aren't. Some people more so they observe mm-hmm. than, they, than they really kind of immerse or partake. So in that instance, yes, of course it could work. But if you are like a hardcore you know, whatever your faith is, I think you would struggle to really maintain a relationship with someone who is not of the same Mm. faith. So whether you're Christian, you're Muslim, you're atheist, um, Buddhist, but even like, for example, maybe you're Christian and your partner's left, or like the person's left the church, they used to be Christian, but they're no longer, don't believe in it no more. They've changed. They've changed, you know. And you're in a relationship with them and they've decided that they no longer want to go. I mean, how would you feel, let's say, if you're with your partner, Yeah. you know, you both started off with the same faith and Mm -hmm. then turn around and say, actually, no, I I no longer believe in it. I'm looking away. That's fine. I don't think it would make me say instant lock off. Like, Lock up. <laughs> everything lock up. <laughs> I don't think I'd instantly lock them off, but I would want to maybe try and see where they're coming from and talk to them about it. And if there was too many conflicting situations, so and it caused a lot of arguments, and do you know what I mean? And it was getting a bit, yeah, then quite naturally it's going to fade. But some people, everyone starts somewhere and goes off somewhere else because you could marry your guy and he's a Christian and you're both Christians and you get married and then five, ten years into your yeah. marriage, he decides he's not for God anymore. You're not just going to divorce him. Do you yeah. see what I mean? You're yeah. going to try. You're going to maybe even pray for him. You're going to try and bring him back to the church, whatever. But if it causes too much conflict, quite naturally, I think that relationship's going to break down. Well, I think that situation is different because I had that question has been posed to me before. Yeah. Where you get married and the person decides they want to leave or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's different because you're already married. Yeah. But the thing is, is that I think just with anything in life, why would you get into something unless... You know, you know that you're on the same level or on the same page. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whether it's faith, whether it's how you're bringing up your children, whether you want children yeah, that's true. or not. There's many different factors when it comes to not just those relationships, but friendships as well. Yes, yeah. because it's annoying when people get into situations, know the situation, yeah, and then they think they can change the person. Exactly. And then they spend so many years trying to change, and when it doesn't work out, they're bitter. Yeah. 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 It's just nah. It's just Keep like, it real. Yeah, no, I think so, definitely. I mean, we're all adults here, and yeah, there might be people that you might like or want in your life, but at the end of the day, realistically, if it's not, you know, conducive, then just let it go, you know? Yeah, plenty more fish in the sea. Exactly. What is the biggest turn off for you in a guy? Like, if you were, like, you know, meeting someone, what would be the biggest turn off? From just meeting them, like looking at someone? Yeah, or, initially, or just looking just at Just initially them. looking at them. You've got to have good teeth. Hey, man. Look at these. Look at these pearly whites. Okay. I, I, I can't just. deal with bad teeth. I just... There's just no excuse for it. Really. I mean, when I was in the dating game, if someone came to talk to me and they smiled and their teeth were off, I don't care. You could look like Morris Chestnut with your mouth closed. <laughs> if the teeth are off, it's a hoover. <laughs> It's over. It's over. Yeah. What I agree. You? I agree. Teeth. I can't deal. Like I remember my and the things I never used to obsess with teeth. It's only when my friend dated this guy. Mm-hmm. His teeth were like all over the place and just really, really. And I thought to myself, no, allow it. Jagged edge. Oh, it was wow. just the teeth was just. <laughs> and often with bad teeth comes bad breath. Yeah. I think there's, there's a, a, a bad breath too. I can't deal with that. Ow. A lack of, and you know they're, they're always the ones that you offer chewing gum to, and they're like, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Another no. big turn off for me, mm-hmm. dry lips. Yeah, I don't think yeah. That, people think that I exaggerate. I actually get anxiety when I see a person with dry lips, and I'm the sort of person that I can't hide my facial features. My eyes will just be yeah, look on at those the lips. lips, and I will begrudgingly bring out my car mix because obviously I don't want other people's fingers dipping in it, but. <laughs> This one is a special case. Yeah. Sick. Sick. In fact, right. have it. Yeah. Have the whole tub of combat. Yeah. Another one of my big turn-offs is 
Body odour. Mate, I work in central London, so it's all over the place. Look the at trains. my nostrils. <laughs> they are sensitive. I smell everything, guys. Like... Nah. Again, you could be... I don't even know who you could be. Fine! You could be finer than fine. Fine than fine. You could have just descended from heaven in, in front of the, the clouds that opened up. <laughs> everyone goes through the day you get a little bit of body odor that doesn't bother me but when it's certain times of the day you shouldn't be smelling and exactly. you're smelling and you don't seem to have, you haven't mentioned it because you know some person to cover yourself you be like sorry i'm a bit smelly yeah yeah so yeah. then you're self-aware self when people are not self-aware and their jacket stinks like they've worn it for five years and that's never happened to me by the way but i just can't that would be a big turn up for me I can't, bad I can't smells any sort of smell from the mouth, <laughs> from the armpit, hey. from the hair, hey. from the ears, from the hair, mm. anything. That's it, you've been with us, Terry and Denise, Denise on Girls Talk. Thanks for watching and for having me back. Yeah, of course. And make sure that you subscribe yeah. and send us some of your topics. These were a couple, a couple of these were your topics actually, guys. And I appreciate it when you just share the love. Yeah. Share it out. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I say and.